Hi, I'm the Life Coach Guy. That's right, I coach life. And today I want to focus on relationships and love. Now, a lot of people come to me worried that they're never going to find love, that they're going to get left on the shelf, or possibly die alone. And what I say to them is this, don't worry about it, it's not going to happen. Yeah. And the reason I say that is simple. It's an old saying, but it's true. There is someone for everybody out there because we all like different things. And that's fantastic because it gives everybody a chance, even the ugly people. Take me, for example. I'm a bald man. Yeah, I know. Now I've pointed it out. It's obvious. However, life experience tells me that there are a lot of women out there. And I mean a lot of women out there who find bald men very attractive. Yeah, I know. Bingo. It's on TV. Lucky me. However, Life experience, and I'm big enough to stand up and accept this, life experience also tells me that there are certain women out there who find bald men repulsive. Well, fuck you, Sandra. Yeah? Fuck you. Yeah? Because you know what? I bring other stuff to the party. Yeah. Yeah. And it's not my fault, is it? Eh? Not my fault I'm bald. What do you expect me to do? It's hereditary, isn't it? Yeah, thanks, Mum. Yeah? What do, you, what, do you, what do you want me to do? What, you know? If, you know, it, it amazes me, it absolutely amazes me in this day and age, we can't cure baldness, it's bloody ridiculous. You know, when you think about how far we come medically and scientifically, here's how far we've come, right, here's how far we've come. Say a young boy, right, and you can't cure this, a young boy gets his face ripped off in a bizarre farming accident. I don't know, maybe him and his mates have seen a young couple properly at it in the cornfield, so they're scrambling along for a little dirty look, yeah? All of a sudden, a farmer comes along and a combine harvester, don't see the kids, rips his kid's face off. It's not a problem these days. They just sew a new face on. Yeah, they did it in America last year. Man had a whole new face. Obviously, if it's a young 12-year-old boy, it's got to be the right kind of face. You know, you're not going to put any old face on a boy. Oh, it'd be cruel. You're not going to put a, a, an old man's head on a 12-year-old boy. It'd be too big, wouldn't it? You'd have to tie it in a knot at the back and then the eyes would be on top of it. It doesn't matter. You get the point. You can't fucking get... Right. Say, all right, say a woman then, say a woman gets a hand severed off in a bizarre accident, I don't know, maybe she's got a hand in a charity shoe bin, you know, not like, like she needs any more, but bloody, what is it with shoes? But she's got a hand right in a shoe bin, yeah, it snaps shut, severs her hand off, it's not a problem, it's not a problem these days, they just sew new hands on, a woman in Australia had it done last year, she had two new hands, yeah, obviously the left and the right, that'd be weird, right? and again, it's got to be the right, kind of hand, isn't it? Not just going to put a big hairy old builder's hand on a beautiful young lady, although, to be fair, I suppose if you're the kind of woman with your hand in a charity shoe bin, yeah, you're probably quite lonely. Can you imagine? It might have been a while since you felt the touch of a man. So it, it doesn't matter. It doesn't, get, get off. It doesn't matter. Right? Um, it, it, it just bothers me. Can't, right, this is how far we've come scientifically, right? 50 years ago, put a man on the moon. Put a man on the moon and you can't cure baldness. And why are we going to the moon? What is the point of that? Yeah? What are, what, how's that going to benefit any of us? What are they trying to do? Meet aliens? Yeah, well, good luck with that. Every picture I see of an alien is bald. Isn't he? Yeah? Imagine that first conversation. We come in peace. Can you give all this? No, well, zap. But I mean, it, doesn't, it doesn't matter. We'll move on. There is some, but well, basically, there is someone for everybody out there, is what I'm saying. And what you've got to do is, rather than just cast your net wide, focus your market. You've got to know, for instance, right? I'll give you an example. I wouldn't date an Eskimo. Yeah, I said it. I wouldn't date an Eskimo. Oh, you can't say that. I can. I just said it. I wouldn't date an Eskimo, right? Now, let's just get this straight. I don't want anyone getting the wrong idea. I'm not saying they're not nice people. I'm sure they're lovely people. And I'm not saying they're not very good. I'm sure there's literally... Dozens of very attractive Eskimos out there, right? Well, it's very simple. I won't date an Eskimo. One reason, very simple. I don't like fish. Right? I don't like. I can't stand this. Oh, 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 just the thought of it. I, do, I can't eat. I don't like. I don't like. Oh, it's a little bit sick. Oh, fuck. I, I, I can't stand it. I can't stand. I haven't, so I haven't got time. Oh, gee. I don't want to end up. I don't want to end up in a bar in I don't know uh, the North Pole. Yeah. Yeah. For this example, and then all of a sudden you meet someone. Geez, you meet someone in a bar. Yeah, you have a few drinks, it all gets a bit jiggy. Yeah, next thing you know, you're back at her igloo, yeah, and you open the front door and it's like, oh, what's that? Is that fit? Oh, Jesus, Jesus Christ. Sorry, love. I was right up for this, but that's put me right. I haven't got time for it. Yeah, I haven't got time. That's a waste of an evening. Yeah, life's too short. That's actually, it's probably a weekend gone there. Yeah, because obviously I've got to get there. And then there's the night and all that. And then I'm not just going to get a flight home just like that. Probably have to wait till late the next evening. So that's a whole week. I haven't got time for it. 
I haven't got time. So target market, right? We, we all know the old saying, right? Um, are you a bum man or a tip man? Yeah, we've all heard that, haven't we? So again, you know, personally, I'm a bum man. I love bums. Oh, fucking love it. That's what I'm going. Well, I love, I love bums. Big juicy bum. Give it a slap, get a jiggle on it, get your face in there. I love, I love bums, right? But I, I'm just, I'm, and again, I just want to point this out, okay? I don't want this to be gender specific. All right, I don't want to be accused of anything here. We live in very woke times. Just point this out. Men have bums too. I right? just point out that some people find attractive. Okay, but not me. Not me. It's a different kind of bum. Yeah, it's not for me. That's kind of I don't know. Men's bums are I don't know hairy. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, and, uh, but I like I like bosoms as well. I'm not just discounting. I like bosoms, breasts, tits, whatever you want to call them. But again, so you just men have men have tits too. Just point it out. But again, some people find attractive. But it's a different kind of tit on a man, and that's kind of I don't know hairy. There you go. So, uh, so um, thinking about it. So some women, some women have hairy tits. All right, Isn't, Jesus, might as well get it all out there. Jesus, it's good. some women have hairy tits. All right, that's a fact. And do you know what? I'm comfortable saying that because I'm a feminist. All right, some women have hairy tits, bosoms, whatever you want to call them. Now, um, I actually, I don't know if you've ever come across a, a hairy tit. I don't mean come across. That's disgust. That is disgusting. Right? If you've actually done that, you you really need to take a good long look at yourself. That is absolute. That's wrong. Okay, what I was trying to get at there was this. If ever you've experienced a female hairy bosom or, or not, right, take this advice from a man who's been there, basically. The do's and don'ts of an experience with a female hairy bosom, all right? What you don't do, and this is crucial, this is crucial in this, uh, what you don't do is go, ah! Don't do that, don't do that. Women really don't like that, okay? And it alerts everybody else on the bus to what's going on, okay? What you do do, uh, first off, you mask the horror on your face because it will be there. OK, mask the horror on your face and then then you've got to get out of there. You've got to get out of there. You've got to make an excuse. So you've got that bosom cupped. Yeah. And then you say something like, sorry enough, I'm just going to pop that back in because I think I've left the gas on. Something like that. Or shit, haven't fed my hamster. Yeah, it doesn't have to be a hamster. OK, it can be any caged rodent you want. Yeah, and then you pop that bosom back in and then you get up and you back away like a cat who's just seen a human turd in his dirt box. OK, uh, right. OK, so let's recap uh, uh, relationship wise. Um, it's very simple. Uh, uh, first off, understand what you find attractive, target your market and then just be yourself. Basically, just be yourself. OK, I'm the life coach guy. Yeah, that's right. I coach life.